Hi, welcome to Power and Motion YouTube channel. Today I really want to talk about folding bike, but more specifically the term folding bike. Just kind of give you a very interesting story. Dehan was probably one of the first company who started folding bike. It started with uh, Dr. David Hahn. He's an uh, American engineer and he started the folding bike company back in 1982. However, in 2001, the father and the son has a dispute in terms of the quality and uh, how the direction of the company is going. So as a result, in 2011, the son Josh started the turn company. So what he was trying to do is improving the product. So the first thing he did was basically he improved the hinging capability. So the hinge of the turn bike is really, really stiff and it's almost like a suction cup. So it created a you know, much more stronger frame. But in uh, 2015, Dehan is coming back and you're going to see a lot of high quality product coming in from Dehan as well. So here in Power Motion, we were carrying both brands, the term a folding bike as well as the Dehan by uh, in 2015. What we're trying to do is not try to compete each, each brand, but try to fulfill the gap. So you're going to see a lot of full spectrum of folding bike uh, if you're coming to the Power Motion store. So by all means, come and check it out and uh, take a look at all the different folding bike that we have in here. All right, so that's a story about the turn and the Dehan bike. So what I like to do is kind of go over uh, the different model with the turn that is available on the market right now. So one of the nice thing about the turn is the D8. This is, this is all D8 on, this, on the right hand side right here. They have the most color choice that you can choose from. So this is a 2015. Uh, so this is a D, uh, Link D8. So it comes with uh, black and red and it also come with white and pink and then also with the gray and orange and then the last d8 that we have here in power and motion is black and blue and that was a really really popular model last year so these are all 20 inch and then on my left hand side here i have the note d8 so this is basically is a 24 inch and this is a new model in 2015 and then I have another Note D8 and, uh, in black and blue. And then here I have a few different ones. This is a, actually a P24, which is a touring folding bike. Uh, so it has a lot of features that I'm gonna show it off uh, a little bit later. And then here I have the Verge P9. It's basically, it's almost like a racing bike. And then on the last one that I have here is the D16, this is a 2015 model. Um, basically, it's a 16 gear and a 20 inch thing by. So it gives you a lot of climbing hill capability. So what I like to do right now is to take each bike out the door and uh, give you the rundown of a uh, different feature of the folding bike. So the first one I'm gonna take is the uh, D8, the black and red. All right, so let's take it out for a ride. Hey, the beautiful day here in Calgary. We're on the uh, bike path. This bike path, actually, you know, the funny thing is, Calgary is probably the best secret. We have one of the longest bike paths in North America. And uh, total 600 kilometer bike path and 900 kilometer, including the non-paved bike path. So we have a great, great uh, bike infrastructure. So I have a Turn Link D8. This is a 2015 model. It's definitely a great value bike. Um, it's sort of entry bike, but it's more like a premium entry bike. As you can see, this bike had fender, rack, chain guard, everything that you expected, uh, a high quality bike. So right now we're on the uh, East Village, which is a new area here in Calgary. And uh, they're gonna have some uh, new construction here. So there's gonna be apartment, theater, everything around here. So one of the nice thing about the turn is um, it operates with a twist grip. So I can change the gear pretty quickly.
Hey, how's it going? So, uh, before I get started with the uh, talk about the product, but uh, I just want to show you guys this uh, beautiful landmark here in Calgary. It's called the Bow. So, uh, one of the famous things is this giant hat uh, behind me. So, uh, just one of the very interesting landmarks here in Calgary. Here we are, we have the um, Turn Link D8, which I want to go over all the different features about this particular bike. This is a 2015. Uh, one of the improvements on the 2015 bike is the metallic thing that they have here. And you can see uh, it's really, really beautiful um, the way how they painted the, the bike uh, with a black accent on it. It's just beautiful. It's one of the premium entry level bike. Instead of the minimal, it has uh, some of the really valuable uh, accessories that come with the bike. So to start off with, it come with a wheel rack and also had the uh, strap built right in. It also come with fender, so if you're riding in the rain or go through the puddle, you're not getting yourself wet. It also have chain guard. While we're on the subject of the chain guard, I really want to mention about the uh, chain ring here. It's actually a 52 key chain ring. So by putting a 52 chain ring on it, this is almost like a road bike. So if I were, if I were to race a, a 26 inch bike, I would be able to pick up the speed and actually go as fast as the, the uh, 26 inch bike. And it also has a SRAM X-Speed twist grip. And then on the front here, we have adjustable handlebar. So you can adjust this here. And then also come with a bell. So what value can you get, you know, like for entry level, you get getting everything that you needed. So this particular bike is called a jack of all, jack of all trade, known as a jack of all trade, because it just have everything that you needed to ride it in the city. Couple of really nice structural feature. This is uh, called the uh, double truss. And what that means is in the seat state, they sandwich the seat state between the seat posts. So basically, they sandwich together to make the bike a much, much more stronger. So this is one of the features that uh, Turn had um, created. Let's talk about the hinges here. So uh, here we have the hinge, it's called the uh, OCL joint. Um, one of the great thing about this thing is how the construction is. As you can see, it uh, has a very large surface. So when, when they put together, when you, you know, uh, put them together, they almost like a suction cup. It doesn't feel like flimsy or anything like that because what happened is when you're riding a smaller wheel bike and smaller frame bike, you tend to put more um, pressure or torque onto the frame. So you don't want to have the frame start flexing, especially when you're having um, in between the joint. And this is all serviceable. You can see that this, you can make fine adjustment to make it more tighter or looser, uh, whatever that is needed to. And uh, let's talk about the, again, the hinge right here. So basically, this has a safety pin here. Uh, this is called an auto lock. So the reason why you want to have a safety pin is, for example, if I have a strap, for some reason, I accidentally hook my strap onto uh, one of the latch and then accidentally pull it off. And then what happens is your whole bike completely uh, become a park. So this safety pin prevent you just accidentally opening the hinge so then the frame completely fall off on you. So as you can see, when I fold it, this is actually protecting uh, the element. So uh, you know, if I bang on it, it won't damage the hinge. So they did a really good job of almost like covering up so protected the hinge, so providing, preventing it get damaged. So I'm gonna show you how to fold this uh, bike. So the first step is to remove the kickstand. Then the next step is to drop the seat post down to create a stability. Then the next step is to release the pedal or turn the pedal or fold the pedal. Um, then I will remove this latch and then start folding the bike. And this is called the end fold. And right here, there's a magnet. So they're basically joining the two wheel together. And then I'm start folding the handlebar. Overall, it probably take less than half a minute to fold the bike. And then after the bike is folded, then I can pick it up and walk around with it. So it's pretty lightweight. It's about uh, 30 pounds on this bike. So I can take it on a bike or take it on a train, or I can take it to my apartment. 
So to unfold it, basically doing the reverse, put the handlebar up, open up the frame, put the kickstand down, pull out the seat post, open up the pedal, Now I'm good to go. You can smell the grass, uh, it's just a beautiful day. <laughs> In front of us, uh, we have a duck crossing. Here we have the Turn D8. It's one of the sort of a premium entry level bike. It comes with wheel rack, uh, fender, so you don't prevent you getting wet. And uh, it comes with XB with 52 teeth chain ring. Folding joint is called OCL joint. It's one of the best hinges that you can make for a folding bike. I give you the stability and the rigidity. And the way the DX fold is extremely compact. You saw me from the video that I can fold it in probably in less than a minute. So that gives you ability to take the bike either on the train, on the bus, put it under your desk. So it just gives you a lot of flexibility to where you store the bike and take your bike with. So that's it for the summary. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.